let's see. Um, well, stop or start at the top again. Um, Chris, if you have anything else you want to say, um, and if you want to give us your Dixie Cup rating, please and thank you. Sorry. Right. Um, yeah, I like this. Uh, I like this pick. I, I can see you're trying to break up the uh, the horror genre because that's my pick as well. Yeah, coming up. So, uh, um, when you picked it, I was like, I said, I don't remember that being a horror movie. I don't know how it's PG thirteen with the uh, screwdriver and the hatchet murder. I thought those was would... off camera. Uh, most of it's just off camera or angled yeah. just so. Too quick. Yeah. That shot was too quick. Yeah. Um, they don't really swear a lot either. So, not that you can hear it. No. So I enjoyed watching it again. Like I showed you guys, I had the DVD, so I had bought it at some point. And uh, this was probably back at a time when I liked Johnny Depp. <laughs> uh, uh, I was watching a few of his movies uh, when he started wearing the. I think when he went from maybe five bracelets to fifteen is where I said, "Okay, all right, I, I'm not doing this anymore." <laughs> um, this okay. whole bohemian bullshit, uh, but. I like this movie and it is something like you have to pay attention and listen to the inner dialogue and you start figuring it out like, okay, I remember it. So I, I want to give it six Dixie cups. Cool. Six. It is. Thank you. Penn Davenport. Joe, what you got for us? This is just not a very good movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't. Really, I don't really like it that much. Um, I like John Turturro quite a bit. Yeah, uh, I thought. I thought. I. I. I thought he was pretty cool. Um, but um, I was gonna really shit all over it. But then Herschel made a really good point that if you watch it again, you get to see the little things that you may have missed. And listening to some of the conversation, there is some stuff that I missed. There's also some stuff that I picked up on, like the cigarettes and. Yeah, you know, a, a few other things in there. Um, so, um, in order not to like, uh, yeah, I, I I'll tell you what, I'm gonna give it. A, I'm gonna give it a five. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a five. I mean, it's not it's not great. I'm not really gonna. I'm not gonna tell a bunch of people about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. What to tell. I don't. I mean, I, you know, I watched it. I I, I enjoyed myself for ninety minutes. I kind of saw what was, you know, Tyler Durdening the entire time. And, uh, you know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm neither here nor there on the, on the damn thing, to be honest with you. But I was going to really give it a lower score into the fours. But, you know, there are some good points made about why this could actually be better than what I think it is. <laughs> yeah. Five. Yeah, yeah, that's marriage for you. <laughs> hey, science and end of this. Zing. So far, there's only been two My jobs God. of marriage. Uh, Andy, what's your rating? Yeah. What are your thoughts? Final thoughts? Uh, yeah, final thoughts. Like I said earlier, John Turturro, pretty great in this. Um, the March release kind of tells you everything you need to know, um, which means <laughs> it's really a throwaway movie. Um, yeah, it's after the Oscar season, movies have all come out that are all artsy and supposedly good. Generally, um, it's not summer blockbuster material; it's a throwaway, um, and it's a five. It's not bad. It's not really good. You can watch it. It's a movie. <laughs> Well stated, sir. <laughs> All right, we move on to Herschel. What are your final thoughts on your how many Dixie Cups, sir? So um, I'm going to break a little bit again. I'm going to go 6.5. I, I do like it. Uh, I think it's a good movie. I think it shows you that Johnny Depp can be a good actor. It's not all just, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean because so much of the movie is just him acting with himself and off himself um Totoro also good but uh, I do think it's a decent flick um and uh you know I mean I already gave my uh you can watch it more than once and here's why or don't you know do whatever you want to do but uh 6.5 for me all right solid uh 
Adam? I'm gonna... Give it a three, aren't you? I didn't like this movie. Yeah. It's not a bad movie. I thought it was lazy. I'm not gonna sit here and say, like, maybe everything was intuitive. I don't remember shit about this movie, but, like, you know, it started off with a writer, so he has imagination, and the first person he meets is a sheep farmer from Mississippi or some shit. So I was like, oh, this guy is not real. From that very first scene, I was like, oh, this guy doesn't exist. So I spent the whole movie just waiting for the reveal. Um, I didn't like Tortoro's character either. I like the dialogue between them, them two whenever they were in the scene together, but um, I didn't. I guess I was the only one that wasn't a big fan of Totoro's character. Um, like I said, it, I didn't like it, but it was a fine movie. <laughs> uh, I give it a 5.5 Dixie Cups. Okay. That was better than I anticipated. Uh <laughs> I mean, it's watchable. It's suspenseful. It's a, you know, it's a reveal ending type movie. So, like, I get it. I just think there's better versions of this. Do you do you yeah. think it could have been better since it was like mostly just Johnny Depp? Do you think it'd been better if he would have had a volleyball? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, my pick. It's kind of what everybody else has already said. I I enjoyed this movie. I was a I think I was like a teenager watching this and I remember thinking, oh, this was fun, you know, um, and I liked it then and I hadn't watched it since, you know, I was a teen. So to see it now um, and to get to rewatch it so that I could put the puzzles together and see all the layering, um, I can appreciate like this movie has decent actors. It has decent director. It's got pretty cool cinematography things going on um and lots of stuff to dissect but it does somehow fall a little bit flat in the story and it's kind of unexplainable <laughs> um to me but i think it's watchable um i think it's enjoyable and i'm gonna stick with the with my 6.5, which is what I was going to go with. Um, it's not the greatest movie, but it is something that I can definitely point to. And if somebody wants a, I don't know, something that's suspenseful, then it's there. It's funny. I was getting pissed off a lot now that I'm thinking about it. Like I got pissed off when I'm, when we were introduced to shooter, I was pissed off that he couldn't just grab the fucking magazine I was pissed off when his his wife saw a shooter written everywhere. I'm like, and I was like, oh god damn it, shoot her. <laughs> like yeah. everything is just making me angry. <laughs> um the weird thing is that I wrote just what, like three notes here. Yeah. yeah. Under my top five. Bladed boomerang. Mine one, yeah, blade of boomerang. But under that John Turturro's accent, odd choice. <laughs> John shooter arrow, shoot her. Yeah. Yeah. But then I put motel. <laughs> yeah. At least where you have to go inside a building. Oh, yeah, like this movie is an example of like even if like this could have this was almost a really a good movie, like really good movie with all of those other things. Like you got good actors, you got good cinematography, you got good all that other stuff. But if the story is not written perfectly or just better, then it falls apart. But I really like the John Turturro now that you, I remember you, like John Turturro and uh, Johnny Depp whenever they're in scene together. Yeah, their scenes together is great. Going back and forth is fun. Either yeah. character separately drives me nuts. But mm -hmm. I loved watching more interact with absolutely everyone. So I guess I just like he's a good actor. <laughs>